this isn't a product review sort of video. I am actually a golf instructor and when I review something it's usually because I'm trying to explain something like I've done golf ball review videos just to show you that as you get better you can be more precise with the golf balls that you use but if you're at a caliber that you don't feel the difference then I'll show that you know you can still flop it and spin it with a pinnacle. So whenever I do these product reviews, please don't categorize me as somebody that have reviewed every, for example, putter out there. I like certain types of clubs and I do try many different kinds to make sure that what I like is what I like. But it's more of a personal product review, so keep that in mind, please. So. I've had this putter, it's a White Hot Odyssey number no. 6 putter for a very long time. I've tried so often to replace it, but every time I would replace it, I mean I've tried Scotty Cameron's, they're wonderful putters by the way. Um, I've tried many different types of putters, but this always ended up in my bag. And it was given to me by Frank Connor. He played on the PJ Tour, he also played on the Champions Tour. And I was playing a pro-am with him, that's how I met him, and then I went to go watch him play. And on the back nine, I saw him on the tee box and he looked at me and he's like, telling his caddy, go get a putter for her. The caddy went to the parking lot and brought back a putter in the middle of his round. It was so sweet. And when we were playing, he just said, you know, the putter that I had was just too heavy, the length was too long. And now I know so much about putters and the length and how it should fit your stroke and your setup that I get what he was saying, but I didn't know at the time. And I fell in love with it and I am forever grateful. I've tried Odyssey putters before to replace this one because I wanted a little bit heavier feel and something new. And I waited for a long time and now this putter, it's very similar to the one I have but it has a slight modern look. And if you look at it, it's just absolutely beautiful. OG number one, Stroke Lab Shaft. And I know there's more to it, but from what I gather, it's to be able to feel the club head better. I'm sure there's more technology involved in why they did that, but you can also purchase it in a regular shaft like this. I decided to try something different since I'm going to a different putter. I wanted to add this shaft and it's just absolutely beautiful. So the difference is not very different, it's just a little more modern and the finish is more matte and it's the same length. It's a 33 inch putter and it's a great length for me because I like to stand low to the ball and it just is wonderful. I mean I always recommend to get a shaft the right distance of where your hands fall so that you can always grip consistently. Here I go, I'm getting more into the instruction side of it. I can't help it, I'm a golf instructor. But that's why I like to use this length. But everybody's gonna be different depending on your height and also how low you stand or how tall you stand. I'm going to demonstrate a few putts here. I drew in these really thick lines so you can see if I'm rolling it consistently. So this is my old putter. That was a truer roll. As you see the lines, you can see it cleanly when I hit a solid stroke. This is something that you can do to practice and see if you have a solid stroke.
man, I still love this photo. It's fantastic. So I'm going to go to pick these up and try this putter. It came with a jumbo grip and I don't like that. I recommend that if you ever use jumbo grips, use it because your hands are big, not because you think it's going to be this gimmicky way of keeping the club head steady. You don't want to just use a jumbo grip just to steady your hands because it really doesn't work like that. There's more fundamentals and more your stroke that's involved. And it's, you know, I didn't hit that solid, but I made it. feels very similar, but at the same time, it feels new. Okay, I didn't hit that solid, but let's see if I can get a solid roll. I definitely know that I have to do a bigger stroke with this putter. I noticed that was a pure stroke. I noticed that I was short on all my putts just to get used to it I have to do a bigger stroke with this putter and it could be the shaft um, it could be that but uh, that's what I noticed so I'm not saying that I'm not gonna go back to my old putter because it's just pure um, but at the same time, this one is similar to it and it's actually been in my bag for a while. Normally I'll get a putter and I, I'll try it, but this old putter is back in my bag right away. Um, one more thing I wanna talk about is the grip. I've always used ping putter grips and a lot of times they have a blackout version of it where the ping is blacked out. And I wore this grip out because with the shortage of everything, have you noticed, with golf clubs and such, it's so hard to get this grip. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I ended up getting a golf pride grip. And I think this is called Tour Tradition because there's three different kinds like this. This one has a curvature and it's slimmer. There's one like this that is mid-size and I just love this curvature it's very similar to this one I don't like ones that are just straight um, across and then there's another one that's called a tour wrap and it has more of a tour wrap design that I like the tour wrap for my other clubs my irons and my hybrids and my driver but for my putter I just want it to be smooth and simple. What I like about this is it's sleek. A lot of grips right now, they're getting really fancy. I call it NASCAR grips, like the one that it came with. It just had this like big Odyssey pattern on it and everything. And um, it's kind of dizzying. I like something that's really simple. And then also with grips, I noticed they're adding, you know, too much to it where you can feel um, the design and the lines and I want it to be where wherever I'm gripping it, although I'm very consistent here, um, I just want it to be sleek and simple and minimalistic. So we'll see how long this will last. In my bag I feel like it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I really love it. It's beautiful by the way and I love the, the finish. It does have that modern look. So. I'll keep you posted and um, go check it out. I think you'll like it. See ya.